Hello, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how I reduce the noise in my images. Uh, this is the red channel for my Iris Nebula uh, image. And as you can see, it is very, fairly noisy. It's not terrible, it's quite a lot of data, but it's not acceptable as a final result. Uh, this is still a linear image, so no stretching done yet. Um, I have just done a background extraction. So let's get started with noise reduction. The first step of what you're going to want to do is go into image processing, extraction, and then wavelet layers. Uh, it, if Cyril looks a little bit different for you, it's because I'm using a developer version, so it's like an unreleased version of Cyril, which has a couple of extra features like Starnet. Um, but I think wavelet layers should be in the normal version of Cyril as well. Um, you're going to click apply, don't change any of these settings, they should work just fine. And this is going to create two files, a layer 00, zero and a layer 01. Uh, layer 00, zero is going to have your, your most of your high frequency noise and layer 00, zero is just going to be uh, your image. Well, you might be wondering why don't I just use layer 00? Zero? Well, it's because it's removed some of your, de your very fine details and also it just looks like a reduced version, uh, a noise reduction, and a very ugly noise reduction version of your original image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our basic image, which is this one. And what you're going to do is find a region or a star that is like the normal shape for your image uh, because what we're gonna do is try and create a PSF um, point spec function function and a point what a point spec <laughs> what a point spec function is is that it shows the program that we're gonna use for the noise reduction what the star is supposed to look like uh, what a point of uh, light is supposed to look like so you, you don't want any of the nebula in the in the uh, point spread function. So I'm going to use this uh, star right here because it looks like it's out of the nebula. It isn't too big because it's also important. It shouldn't be one of the bloated stars. And just make a little box around it like this. And I'm going to crop it. And now the only thing I see is this this one star. I'm going to save it and call it PSF. Say 32 bits, it's fine, not linear, it's also fine. And now we're going to go into the pro pro program that, we're, that I'm going to use for the noise reduction. So the program we're going to use is Fiji or ImageJ. This is a program uh, built for processing monochrome images. Um, I think it was originally built for microscopic images, uh, but it also works fine for, uh, for our images. The thing with image J is the, though is that it only accepts monochrome images. So if you were to want to reduce the noise in your one shot color images, you will have to split the channels first into their RGB components and then take them into image J and reduce the noise in, of every single um, channel and then recombine, uh, for example, in serial, it's quite easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in plugins and then deconvolution lab. If you don't have this plugin, uh, you can download them. Uh, I'll put links to all of the different downloads in the description. Uh, you'll have a image J, I think there's a Fiji installation and you'll need to download the plugin for deconvolution uh, lab. You could also um, Reduce the noise in a different application. I think even Cyril would work. Um, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm going to open up a Deconvolution Lab and choose my image. It's uh, located, just find it in there in its directory. I have it right here. Layer 00, zero is the one we're going to reduce the noise in. Yes. And then we're going to select the PSF. The PSF is the, the one the one star that uh, 
we made a little box around. We're going to come on, go here, here, open up PSF. Now the al the algorithm is where I think is uh, lies the power of Fiji, um, because you can select all of these different types of deconvolution. For now we're going to convolute our image so we're going to reduce the noise and deconvolution is sharpening but because this is a noise reduction video we're going to reduce the noise the, the one i like to use is convolution noiseless the next step is to just hit run this is going to run through it it's quite fast actually and it's going to give us a, a noise reduction noise reducted image so now we're going to save as fits and go into the image here and you can replace the image but I like to just create a new version of it um, just because then I can go back if I may have messed something up then I can just go back instead of that the other files is completely deleted so we're going to save and go back into into uh, Cyril into pixel math and then add those two images click open now all we need to do is add the two images click apply now what we have is a noise reduced image compared to the first one that that looks reasonably well it's, it's definitely not perfect don't get me wrong but it has significantly reduced the noise in the image uh, while keeping uh, the details uh, for example in the core here you can see the details are kept uh, because we used convolution which is a smart version of noise reduction basically like i said you can use fiji but you can also use any other program though i wouldn't suggest Photoshop because you need to convert to 16-bit first Which means you lose a lot of dynamic range um, I haven't really tested it, but I don't think it will work very well If you have another program that that you think works very well Then please do let me know because Fiji is definitely not perfect and I'm, I'm still like looking around for better work better ways of reducing the noise but for now, this is how li I like to do it. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider liking and maybe even subscribing because it does help me a lot. Thanks for watching.